Right, this is a demonstration valve chest. Um, normally it approach from the left hand side of the tractor. It's this plate on top here with these three bolts remove. Be careful doing this because there's a strong spring under here, the unloading valve spring, so the plate will rise up under spring pressure and sometimes pop up in your face if you're not careful. Or alternatively, the adjuster will stick in the top of the casting. So instead of it rising up, this bit will be stuck inside and you have to give it a tap with a hammer but be very careful doing that, that it doesn't literally fly up under spring pressure. Remove the adjuster, note the O-ring, o uh, ceiling ring there, which needs to be in good condition, otherwise get leakage. Lift out the spring. This is the clever bit. Put your finger inside, you should have a glove on, it helps. And you'll feel inside the valve, a sleeve. Here it comes, that's the unloading valve. And this is the all-important part. The modification includes making holes or cuts down the side here at the bottom, not at the top but at the bottom, so they go into this part of the face, not the cone. Don't get anywhere near the cone because otherwise you'll ruin the valve because that's the bit that does the, the sealing. So that the oil can get from that side to the inside through this relief passage and out. Here's one that I've already prepared, that's been modified. You can see the cuts. They must not go anywhere near the central cone and must extend about halfway up the side so that they're through to the inside. So in other words, to perforate it. The power major had a ring of holes drilled through here at the base which is not possible to do because this is hardened steel. So once the, the valve has been modified like that, simply reassemble it back into the valve chest, put the spring back. Under the adjuster there may or may not be some shims present to adjust the, the opening pressure. It might be an idea if there are any shims there to start off by removing them because this modification has the habit of slightly increasing the blow-off pressure. This is the tricky bit, getting it all back together. You have to line the plate up with the bolt holes, hold it down and get the bolt started. One in, that's it. Another bolt. You might want to make a new gasket for this plate if the old gasket breaks or it... Otherwise you, there could be possibility of leakage. But it's the plate on the left hand side of the valve chest as you view from the front. Don't take that plate off, it's only covering old oil, uh, oil galleries. And tighten the bolts up, and that is done. To make the cuts in the valve, you need to use an angle grinder with a cutting disc on it which is a very thin section. I've got a 1.2 mil section, width section gr uh, cutting disc here, which you then use uh, to make the cuts, obviously because it's hardened steel and you can't drill it. Clamp the valve gently in the vise, as I've shown there, and holding the grinder very carefully, won't run the grinder because of the noise, make the slits cuts like that but you have to be very careful when you do this that you don't go too far with it. Make about two or three and then undo and move the valve round. Make another one or two until you get about, well I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, I've got actually got eight cuts in that valve. It doesn't really need to be as many as that, six would be more than enough. Um, I did get a bit carried away. Just as so long as it's got plenty of area for the oil to escape through. Uh, and that's how to modify the valve.